now this class brings us to the next topic that is factoring algebraic expressions so from now onwards we can see from the name that we are going to start with algebra and algebra i tell you it is actually one of the core pillars in the building of math so from now onwards we are going to make that proper understanding and at some stage we'll see that this is actually very straightforward the complete topic is very simple just listen to the basic instructions very carefully and start solving the problems when as and when told so let's understand this first topic first of all so now we are going to face a very basic name that is a polynomial so actually we are going to face this name for so many times in the entire topic so it is like the most basic structure so we should be very comfortable with this name at least before moving further so actually polynomial just think of polynomial as a simple algebraic expression just think of it as a simple algebraic expression involving as many variables so i'll just try to write and explain it to you in in so many ways so that you'll start getting comfortable with this name let's say x to the power of 3 plus x square multiplied by y plus 2 times xy square minus 3y cube so actually this is a polynomial involving two variables x and y so for an expression to be a polynomial for an x now listen to this carefully for an expression to be a polynomial every term every term involving any kind of variable should be having the exponents the powers of these terms should be only positive integers so that is the only condition you just have to actually look at these terms these should be complete positive integers this is x square multiplied by y this is 2xy square minus y cube so i'm just extending this polynomial also for you let's say it has a minus 7y square further plus 5x square further and minus 8xy so if this be the complete polynomial after that minus 7y square are these terms as well in this case we can see that each expression each expression actually is involving two variables that is x and y but the powers of these variables we only have to look at the powers of these variables the power should be complete integers they they can't be negative integers and they can't be fractions so this is a polynomial this is a polynomial in general and you'll start ident identifying it in one second it is actually so simple after you get the basic feel of it so let's say if i now create a journal polynomial just to actually make you understand if i create a general polynomial that is only uh, involving one variable so i'm just creating a general poly polynomial for you which is let's say a naught a naught is multiplying with this x to the power n plus a1 multiplying with this x to the power of n minus 1 a2 multiplying with x to the power of n minus 2 and in the end this is a, a n minus 1 multiplying with x and an a n a constant at the end so can you see that this is a polynomial in which the first term is a naught multiplying with this x to the power n then a1 which is a constant multiplying with this x to the power of n minus 1 so now this is a polynomial where n is a n is a positive integer n is a a positive integer positive integer let's say for example n is 10 so if n, n is 10 so we can see that all these powers all the exponents all the powers of these uh, this variable term x are actually simple integers positive integers this is 10 over here for example if i'll take x as this n as 10 then this term is 10 this is 9 this is 8 and this would be x to the power 1 and uh, and in the end this is a constant an so can we see that all the terms are involving powers of x which are straightforward positive integers so this was the example of a polynomial in one variable that was x but it is not necessary that the polynomial would be having just one variable it could be more than one variable uh, more, uh, more than one variables as well so if it is a single term then it is a monomial 
if there are more than one terms, if there are two terms. So the first name that we will face is monomial. So monomial are actually terms which is which are involving just one term. For example, let's say 2x or let's say 3xy. This is a simple single term. This is a single term. So now if I talk about a polynomial which is involving two terms that is known as a binomial. It is known as a binomial. Let's say x plus y or x square plus 3y. These are actually examples of binomials where one term is adding with another term. And similarly, one term is adding with another term. So now there is, there is further an example of three terms which is known as trinomial. So you don't need to actually remember these names specifically because no, no one is going to ask you as such these names. But they'll just come in between questions. So you should be knowing them. These are very basic terms. The first task is this that we should be very comfortable with this basic name that what does a polynomial actually means. This is the first task. So now we know that any term. So uh, trinomial would be let's say x square plus 2xy plus let's say 3y square. So this is a trinomial expression because this is involving three terms. So let's say now if someone gives me this term. x square plus x multiplied by y to the power of 1 by 2. Let's say it's square root of y. x multiplied by square root of y plus x to the power of minus 1. So then by just looking at this term, we can see that this is not a polynomial. Why? Because we can see that there is a term involving x to the power minus 1 and there is another term involving y to the power 1 by 2. Square root means y to the power 1 by 2. So this would be outrightly rejected. Let's say someone gives me this term x square plus 1 upon x square. We know that this is not a polynomial. Why? Because a polynomial is having terms involving let's say x or y or whatever. But every term should be having powers in which the power should be only positive integer. So in this case, this is not an expression exactly of the type of expressions which we require for this to be a polynomial. So we would be clearly able to distinguish that okay, this expression is a polynomial and this is not. So this is like the basic difference which we should be very comfortably knowing.